All right, let's get right to it. Hills and Sass and Pythagorean theorem all had to have what type of triangle? Okay, we're not getting off that boat. All right, we are still using a right triangle today, except these are two special right triangles, okay, where their sides have a certain pattern, all right? Two special right triangles. Uh, first thing I need you to draw with me with correct markings on them is an isosceles right triangle for me. All right, so up top there where it says, what do we know? Please draw an isosceles right triangle with the correct markings on there. As man, ma many markings as you think can fit on there. So a right isosceles triangle. I need you to put as many markings as possible. What are you guys putting on the two legs? What are you guys putting on the two legs? Congruent marks. What's across from those congruent sides? All right, I wanna get more specific today. What are the degree measures of those two congruent angles? 45, all right, nice job. This is the first special right triangle we're gonna to discuss today, which is called a 45-45-90 because their sides are in a good pattern, right? Their sides are in a certain pattern that you're gonna find out right now. Okay, uh, all of these are isosceles right, where angle B is the right angle, okay? All six of those triangles. Okay. I want you to find the remaining sides now. One side you should be able to fill in pretty quickly. If BC is one, what other side up here should be one as well? AB, all right, the ones across from the 45s are always congruent. What about the hypotenuse now? How can you find the hypotenuse? Pythag, go ahead, simplest radical form. Find AC in simplest radical form. I'll ask somebody in a second. Anybody finding the hypotenuse? One, one, and what do you have for me? It's 13? Radical two. All right, I can't find, you can't find a pattern from one example. We gotta do, keep doing more. All right, so let's go to the next one where the side length's two now. What's the other leg then? Two? And go ahead and do Pythagorean theorem. Please break down your radical in simplest radical form so we can tell what the pattern is maybe. Okay, so two, two, and what else? After you break down your radical. What do we got four? Okay. How about uh, three? Two radical two. You may see the pattern right now, but let's just confirm it with the third one. What's the other leg? Three. Go ahead, do Pythag to see if our prediction might be right or wrong. What is that third side? 10, three radical two. So do we see the relationship between the sides? If the triangles are 45, 45, 90. All right, well, no Pythag here. Can we fill in all the rest here using what we think is the pattern? Uh, AB here, four. So what do you think uh, the hypotenuse AC will be? Four radical two, this will be five and Yep, and six and six radical two, yes. Okay. Only in a 45, 45, 90. Not every right triangle, just a 45, 45, 90. So what's our conclusion here? Well, I'm not gonna have you write anything in words. What we're gonna start working on is making tables for these. So here's our first 45, 45, 90 table that we're gonna use.
What goes in? Yep. You can fit it in if you want. Do it on the outside, wherever you have room. What's going to go in these columns are the sides across from each angle. The sides across from each angle. So what we saw was if I know a side across from the 45, well, you know about the side across from the other 45. Same thing. So I'm still going to put A and X here. Those will be actual numbers. All right? Those will be actual numbers, like 6 and 6. What do you do to that side to get to the side across from 90? What did we do to 6 to get 6 radical 2? 5 to get 5 radical 2. What did we do? Multiply by radical 2. So in here is going to be x times radical 2. There is the pattern for the 45, 45, 90. All right. Questions before we actually start using it now. OK, go ahead, turn the page. I got a couple of 45, 45, 90s there for you. Same diagram for both questions. OK, just be aware of that. Same diagram for both questions. ABC is a right triangle. I'll tell you C is the right angle. Uh, angle A, 45. So A, everyone first stop. Everyone identify that it's a 45, 45, 90. So, the, so that pattern now applies. OK, BC is 18. Bless you. I know you can find the other two sides quickly. I'm going to show you how the table works, though because this is probably the last easy one that I'll have you do today. I know you know the answer is 18 and 18 radical 2. I know that. All right, but how do I use the table, though? So x, I'm still put my rules inside. What angle is that 18 across from? What angle? The 45. So guess where I'm going to put it in my table? Underneath one of the 45s is 18. What's across from the other 45? 18. I take that 18 and multiply it by radical 2. Because tomorrow, this might be a radical 6. And wondering how you're going to do that without the table. Okay? So I know some, I don't need to use this table. I know what it is. Okay, fine. Don't use it. Let me know how tomorrow goes. All right. So A, B. Where was AB? AB was across from what angle? C, which is the 90. What was across the 90? 18 radical 2. And where was AC across from? AC was across from what angle? B, which is how many degrees? So that told me that was 18. Okay, go ahead. BC and AC, but now I'm changing it on you. I'm giving you the hypotenuse now is 17 radical 2. I gave you the side across from what angle? Side across from what angle? 4. Side across from what angle? 7 which is how many degrees? 90. So I'm going to put 17 radical 2 right there in my chart across from the 90. Okay, now you're going backwards. If I have 17 radical 2, what must have been my value of x? 3. 17. Everyone agree? 17. What's across from the other 45 then? 17. Tomorrow that'll be 17 radical 3. What are you going to do? All right, that's day two tomorrow. All right. I know you just detach the radical two and it's very easy, but what if it's not a radical two tomorrow? So B C and A C are both the same, and that's 17. Anything about this 4545? Because I'm going to show you another type right now, other than 4545. Questions at all about the rules? All right. Let's go into our new type. That is an equilateral triangle. What do you know about it? Just start spouting off facts. Probably two in, two in particular I'm looking for, but what do we know about it? 
All sides are equal. Yes, they are. All three sides are equal. And all three angles are equal. Can we get a little more detail there? What are the angle measurements in an equilateral triangle? They're all 60. Perfect. So I got 60, 60, 60. Okay, I'm going to show you two theorems about an equilateral triangle right now. What I'd like you guys to do is draw an angle bisector in from this top 60 degree angle. Just sketch an angle bisector in for me. If it's equilateral and an angle bisector is drawn in, two facts. The angle bisector is also a altitude. In an equilateral triangle, if the angle bisector is drawn in, it's also an altitude, and it's also, anybody want to take a guess? It's also a median. So it's got a lot of purposes. So if I know I'm in an equilateral triangle and that's an angle bisector, oh, that's also an altitude and a median. What do altitudes do? Here we go, altitudes form right angles. So I have a right angle here. If that was an angle bisector, what's the two degree measures now? 30 and 30, welcome to your new type of triangle. 30, 60, 90, a 30, 60, 90. Those sides have a pattern. Ready to figure out what the pattern is. Okay, yep, go ahead, next page. Let's see what the pattern is. All of these are equilateral, and BD is an angle bisector, which means BD is also a what? Altitude and a median. Keep that in your mind right now. So if it's an altitude, I got a right angle. I got 60 degrees at A, and I have how much? How many degrees at ABD? 30, because it's an angle bisector. What is so special about a 30, 60, 90? Well, let's find out. Uh, everyone see A, B is two. How many, what's the length of all three sides of that triangle? Two, and B, D is also a median. So what's A, D then? Because medians go to midpoints. Yes, so that must mean that A, D is one. And how can you find the other side of the triangle, B, D? Okay, go after it. Pythag, go ahead. Simplest radical form. What did you guys find? Square root of? Yep, square root of three. No pattern really anyway, but let's go to the next one. If that's four, what's AD? AD's two, right? Because it's a median. Go ahead, simplest radical form, find BD. Maybe we'll see a pattern after this one. Yes, Bella. One squared plus B squared equals two squared. Oh. Two's the hypotenuse, so it should go in for C. Got it. Hopefully you're breaking down the square root of 12. And what's that breakdown into? Two's radical. Three. Everyone's still here with me. We're all right. Okay, so do we see any, maybe some patterns here? So if AB6, what's AD going to be? Three predictions on what BD will be. Okay, I'm telling you, I, you don't need to do Pythag. It is three radical three.
36 minus 9 is 27. Break down 27. Okay. Everyone good? Okay, see a pattern between the sides. All right, let's set up another chart then. But now it's got 30, 60, and 90. Look at the one, triangles we've just did. I will give you the side across from 30 is X. We know that side. What must you do to that side to get to the side across from 60? One to one radical three. Two to two radical three. Three to three radical three. What must I do to that side? Multiply it by radical three. What must you do to that side to get to the side across from 90 now? Multiply it by 2, 2x. I will warn you of one pitfall kids always get into. What radical was involved in the 45, 45, 90? Radical 2, and now this is involving radical. Don't mix them up. Don't mix them up. That's a common mistake I see every year. All right, radical 3 belongs to the 3060, and radical 2 belongs to the 4545. Anything you want to ask, because now we're just getting after it. Yep. So when you have the 4545 and 90, Correct. No, no, no. It, you could have a radical, but what I'm saying is don't multiply by radical 3 if you're in the 4545. Multiply by radical 2. Okay. Other questions? All right, let's get after it. I'm going to do the first two here with you, and then we're going to skip over to five just for time's sake. If we can go back and finish, we can. If not, it's not a big deal. All right, triangle ABC is a right triangle, where C is your right angle. Here you go in the first one. Angle A, 45. What type of triangle am I dealing with? 45, 45, 90. Get your rules out. 45, 45, 90. So I know my rules are x, x, and x radical 2. I tell you that bc is 11 radical 2. Where should that go in my chart? Well, let me ask you. 10, what angle is across from that 11 radical 2? 45, so that's it goes in for one of the 45s. 11 radical 2. What's across from the other 45 then? Same thing, 11 radical 2. Here's where we're going to run into a problem now. What about the side across from 90? How do I find that? Well, I take x. What was the value of x? 11 radical 2. And the rule says multiply it by radical 2. Stop and look. Questions. You take the side across from 45 and multiply it by radical 2. We okay? Now we got to dig deep from algebra last year. Radical 2 times itself. Which is 2. Multiply, multiply radical by itself. It's the number underneath. 2. So I have 2 times 11. So the side across from 90 is going to be 22, which is what I was looking for, AB. So AB equals 22. Questions? All right, moving on now. Same diagram, just a couple different measurements now. So angle A I put now as 30. What type of triangle? All right, so get my 30, 60, 90 rules out. X, X radical 3, and 2X. BC, 18. Where should that 18 go in my chart? 2, where should that 18 go? Good, because it's across from the 30 degree angle, so change colors, green, 18. 
I always fill out the rest of the table, then answer the question. So what should go in my 60 degree column then? What's across from the 60? 12? Eighteen radical three, and now what should go in my ninety column? Then look at the rule. What should go in my ninety column? Three. Why thirty-six? Because you took eighteen and multiplied it by two. Now I go back and answer the question. All right, AB. AB was across from what angle? Ninety. So according to my chart, that was thirty-six, and AC was across from what angle? 60, and that was 18 radical 3. Any questions? All right, if we have time, we'll go back and do 3. You can do 3 and 4 on your own. I want to get to 5, though, with that double triangle. These make kids go insane. There's some angle measurements, I believe, you got to fill in first. Angle BCA is 90, BDC, BDC 45, and BAC 30, and BC is 10. I see some of you right now doing exactly what I'm going to suggest, which is uh, how about we try to fill in all the angles so I can see where my special triangles are. Can you fill in the rest of the angle measurements there? Because you know 180 degrees in a triangle, linear pairs are supplementary. Okay. Anybody see a 45, 45, 90 triangle in that diagram? Anybody see a 45, 45, 90? Okay. Do you, anybody see a 30, 60, 90 as well? Yes, no. You got to, Here we go. Talk to me here. Do we see a 30, 60, 90 triangle that you can tell me? Okay. So do you see how we're going to both special right triangles now? Okay. Where's your 45? Name the 45, 45, 90 triangle in that diagram. Name it. Five. Name it. BCD, so here we go, triangle BCD is a 45, 45, 90. You are only allowed to use those sides in triangle BCD only. No other sides are going to be talked about. X, X, X radical 2. What side did I give you? Name the side. One, name the side. BC, what angle is it across from, Andrew? So I'm going to be putting 10 in the 45 column. Can you fill out the rest for me? Nine, what's across from the other 45? 10, and what's across from the 90? Name those sides she just filled in. What's this other side across from the 45? Name it as far as segment-wise. 17, what's the other side across from the 45? I gave you side BC. What's the other side across from the other 45? It is, but I, what's the name of it? Segment CD. Oh, had to find it. Shocker. So I know CD is 10. Name the side across from the 90 in that triangle. 15, side, BD. Ho-ho, oh, halfway there, halfway there. AB, ooh, that's not a part of that triangle. AB is a part of what? BCA, which is A. All right, here you go. It's, yep, part of a 30, 60, 90.
only use sides from BCA. What side, full side do you already know in that triangle? BCA, what full side do you already know? 20, what full side do we already know? BC, what angle is it across from? No longer across from the 45 because we're in a different triangle. It's across from the, which is what angle measurement? 30, so I'm gonna put it, put the 10 there now because now it's across from the 30. Fill in the rest of the chart for me. 11, what's in the 60? Ninety. What should be in that column now? Two. Now I just got to figure out what sides they are, what segments they are. The side across from the sixty in BCA is segment. Here you go. Two again. It is CA. Nice job. Oh, I had to find it. CA. And what's across the segment across from the ninety? Fifteen. BA, which is the fourth and final one I needed to find. Do you have questions? Okay, we still got some time now. On your own or in your group, I don't care. Just don't move around. Figure out three and four, and I'll write the answers up here as you're doing them. Three and four. Work on them together individually. I don't care. I'll put the answers up, and you can check them as you go along. Set up your tables.